So we are heading to Heritage Roasting Company in Shasta Lake. They let me uh, go over there every Saturdays and uh, set up in a corner to fix pancakes for customers and start to develop a reputation in town, um, you know, as being the pancake, pancake guy so that when the food truck's actually ready to go, you know, I won't be starting cold, but I'll already have some traction going. So I'm building a food truck where the inside of the business is about restoring the people who are the team that's working with me. And then the outside of the business is about really loving the customers that come to us very well. If we can prototype and get it done well in Reading, then we can start another one in other cities. Uh, you know, so the second one in Los Angeles, the third one in Houston, fourth one in Portland, uh, and expand beyond there, where it's all about transforming the team that's working with us uh, and building community and extending hospitality in the cities. So, so the Vita truck is actually, uh, it's a truck and trailer combo. The trailer is the commercial kitchen uh, and the truck is geared towards uh, hospitality and, uh, you know, creating events that are fun and innocent and, you know, about games and welcoming. Um, and we're about 90% done. Uh, so the kitchen just needs to get finished up and then we can launch it and rock and roll. Chris is just an amazing part of the team. And that's really because, you know, he has so much courage and faith. Uh, the background that was handed to him as a kid from, you know, from a broken family has, meets all of the uh, horrible statistics you hear about in the news. But, you know, he's, he's had this transforming encounter with the God who loves him uh, that's allowed him to say what was handed to me, uh, I'm not going to hand on to the generations that come after me. It wasn't ass, it wasn't nothing, just his unconditional love for me was just always there. And so it's always just good to know that everywhere I go, Alistair's behind me. And that's huge because I grew up without a dad. So uh, when I was doing inner city ministry, I discovered that one third of all kids in America are growing up without their fathers. And the ramifications of that the, uh, splashed all over the headlines. You know, you hear about homeless youth, incarceration rates, drug abuse, um, teenage pregnancy, emotional problems, and the majority of those have their roots in fatherlessness. Um, so the food truck project is really about a way for me as a father figure uh, to get to spend as much time as possible with kids, young adults who've grown up without their fathers. Uh, and to, uh, to work with the Holy Spirit in a business uh, in the way that Isaiah 61 talks about, where um, I'm using a business with the Holy Spirit working in it to bring wholeness and healing to kids who've grown up from broken backgrounds so they can become stable in character and then use the food truck, which is all about people uh, and building community to bring about transformation in a city. The long-term goal is that Chris and people like Chris, you know, would catch, so, that, that experience so much transformation themselves uh, that they would say, I want to do this for, you know, other kids who grew up like I did. And so then we'd be able to start the second Vita truck, the third Vita truck, the fourth, the fifth, the tenth, the twelfth, the twentieth, and, you know, have a Vita truck in every city in the United States. So it's really using pancakes, which is the food of the Vita truck, as a way to address uh, the cancer of fatherlessness in our cities.